Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. Plywood machinery plays a pivotal role in the production of plywood, a versatile and widely used building material. These machines are designed to efficiently process logs and produce thin layers of wood veneer that are then glued together to create plywood sheets. Among the key machines in this industry is the spindle plywood veneer peeling machine, which is a crucial component of the plywood manufacturing process. The spindle plywood veneer peeling machine is a remarkable piece of equipment that automates the process of peeling logs into thin veneer sheets. Here's how it works. Log preparation. Before the logs are fed into the machine, they undergo a preparation phase where their bark and irregularities are removed. This ensures a smooth and uniform peeling process. Feeding and clamping. The prepared logs are then loaded onto the machine. The spindle plywood veneer peeling machine typically consists of a rotating spindle that holds the log in place. The log is securely clamped onto this spindle to prevent any movement during the peeling process. Rotating and peeling. Once the log is in position, the spindle starts rotating. As it rotates, a sharp cutting blade or knife peels off thin layers of wood from the log. The thickness of these veneer sheets can be adjusted based on the machine settings. Continuous feeding. The machine is designed for continuous operation. As one log is being peeled, another can be loaded onto the machine, ensuring a consistent output of veneer sheets. Veneer collection. The peeled veneer sheets are collected as they come off the log. They are then stacked or sent to the next stage of the plywood manufacturing process, which may include drying and gluing. Quality control. Modern spindle plywood veneer peeling machines are equipped with sensors and quality control mechanisms to ensure that the veneer sheets meet the desired thickness and quality standards. Any defects or irregularities can be identified and corrected during this process. In addition to the spindle plywood veneer peeling machine, plywood production lines often include other equipment like veneer cutting machines, dryers, and stackers. These machines contribute to the efficient processing of veneer sheets and the production of high-quality plywood. Plywood machinery has revolutionized the woodworking industry by significantly increasing production efficiency and reducing manual labor. It allows manufacturers to produce plywood sheets of consistent quality and thickness, which are essential for various construction and manufacturing applications. Moreover, with advancements in automation and technology, these machines continue to evolve, further enhancing their precision and output capacity. Here's a detailed look into the production process of Arakopli's plywood mills at Elko and Wavell. Log Yard and Conditioning. The process begins in the log yard, where a continuous watering system maintains the humidity of already debarked logs, preventing their degradation. These logs are then placed in conditioning chambers and soaked in hot water at 85 degrees Celsius for 18 hours. This enhances the wood's plasticity. Peeling process. Once conditioned, the logs undergo a peeling process, transforming them into long veneer ribbons. An advanced scanning system identifies and clips away any defects. These veneer ribbons are then sliced into sheets of varying sizes, depending on requirements, and are sorted based on their moisture content. Drying. 
The veneer sheets then proceed to the drying process where excess moisture is eradicated. The drying machinery, equipped with a roller system and a jet box system, ensures an even moisture distribution throughout the veneer. Grading and sorting. Post drying, the veneer sheets are visually inspected, graded and sorted. They are then stacked and left for at least 24 hours for moisture content equalization. Composing and patching. Some veneers are sent directly to the panel layup station, while others undergo composing or patching processes. The composer handles veneers with defects, turning them into cross-band veneers. At Wavell's mill, an automated system powered by robots repairs veneers by removing defects and inserting wooden patches. Gluing process. At both mills, there are two types of glue application methods, a roller glue spreader and an automatic liquid extruder. Depending on the method, veneers are manually laid up with glue or automatically glued. Pressing. Panels undergo a cold pressing process first, which aids in glue line strength development. Subsequently, each panel is sent through a hot press to cure the adhesive using heat and pressure. Panel repairing. An automated panel repairing line identifies surface defects. If the defects don't meet the grade specifications, they are rectified using either water-based putty or polyurethane. Any remaining defects are manually addressed. Trimming and sanding. Panels are trimmed to remove uneven edges and given their final format. They then go through a sanding process to ensure a smooth surface finish and thickness calibration. Grading. Every board is meticulously graded for both its face and back based on customer requirements and international standards. Grooving line. To further add value, the boards can be sent to a grooving line where they get different edge profiles and surface textures packaging and delivery. Finally, the finished plywood units are packaged and stored. A wood debarker machine, also known as a wood peeler, is a crucial piece of equipment in various industries involved in wood processing, such as paper mills, veneer rotary cut factories, and wood factories. 
it plays a significant role in efficiently removing the bark from logs and timber, preparing them for further processing. Let's delve into the details of how a wood debarker machine works and its key features and advantages. Working Principle The primary function of a wood debarker is to strip the bark from logs or timber. This process is vital for several reasons, including improving the quality of wood products, enhancing production efficiency, and reducing the risk of damage to cutting and processing equipment downstream. Here's how a wood debarker machine typically operates. Feeding. Logs or timber are fed into the machine using a conveyor system. The feeding mechanism often employs variable speed drives, allowing it to handle various types of wood, including frozen wood, bending wood, in different wood species like eucalyptus and oak. Debarking. Once the wood enters the machine, it encounters a set of rotating blades. Most modern wood debarkers use four-bladed cutters, which are efficient and cost-effective. These blades are designed to peel off the bark layer from the wood's surface, Hydraulic control. The pressure exerted by the cutter blades on the wood is controlled hydraulically. This hydraulic control system ensures that the debarking process is precise and adaptable to different wood types and conditions. The advanced hydraulic structure contributes to the machine's reliable performance. Peeling clarity. The wood debarker machine is designed to achieve a high peeling clarity rate. This means that it removes the bark efficiently while minimizing damage to the underlying wood. High peeling clarity is essential for producing quality wood products. Output. After passing through the debarking process, the wood emerges without its bark. The machine is equipped with mechanisms to ensure that the debarked wood is automatically ejected or sent out for further processing. Key features, four-bladed cutter. The use of a four-bladed cutter makes the machine easy to use and cost-effective, ensuring efficient debarking. Hydraulic control. The hydraulic control system allows for precise pressure regulation, ensuring the machine's reliability and adaptability to various wood types. Variable speed drives. The variable speed drive mechanism enhances the machine's ability to handle challenging wood types, including frozen wood, bending wood, and different wood species. High peeling clarity. The machine is designed to achieve a high peeling clarity rate, ensuring that the wood is efficiently debarked with minimal damage. Advantages. Automation. The wood debarker machine automates the debarking process, reducing the need for manual labor and increasing efficiency. High yield. A well-maintained wood debarker can achieve a bark removal rate of up to 95%, ensuring that a significant portion of the wood's surface is clear of bark. Versatility. This machine is versatile and suitable for various wood types, including fresh-cut softwood, broadleaf trees, frozen wood, and dry wood. Adjustability. Depending on the specific wood type and condition, the peeling effect can be adjusted to achieve optimal results. The manufacturing process of a Rauco particle board and PRISM TFL panels begins with the collection of 100% recycled and or recovered wood chips and shavings. Trucks transport these wood materials to the manufacturing facility. Upon arrival, the wood chips are unloaded and stored in collecting areas. They are then loaded onto a conveyor system and deposited into storage silos.
In this stage, the surface and core materials are separated and refined using a series of shakers, conditioners, and filters to eliminate contaminants. Quality control checks are performed throughout this process to ensure the wood materials meet the required specifications in terms of particle size, humidity levels, and decontamination. The wood chips and shavings are sent to drying units to reduce moisture content. Core material is dried to around 2 to 3% moisture content, while surface material is dried to approximately 6 to 7%. In the blending area, the dried wood materials are combined with resin and other additives. Different types of resins may be used to create specialty particle board, such as moisture-resistant or fire-rated products. The blended material is then fed into a massive continuous press. Multiple layers of wood material are stacked according to product specifications and pressed together using a combination of heat and pressure. This process allows for precise control of variables like particle geometry, resin levels, and board densities. After pressing, the boards are cooled and cut to the desired product dimensions. Large rotating racks facilitate the cooling process. Samples of the formed boards are regularly taken to the Quality Assurance Lab for a series of tests to ensure strength, density, and other key specifications meet the required standards. TFL production, prism TFL panels. Some finished boards continue to the thermally fused laminate TFL production line to create prism TFL panels. These panels are equipped with a wide range of decorative overlays, including solid colors, abstract designs, and wood grain patterns. These overlays are saturated with melamine and other resins for adhesion, strength, durability, and resistance to UV and chemicals. Lamination. The treated decorative sheets are carefully placed on the boards and laminated with high temperature and pressure. During this process, the overlay is thermally bonded to the board, and texture impressions and gloss levels are infused into the surface using steel plates. Final stages. In the final stages of particle board production, the boards are stacked, packaged, and stored in the warehouse. They are then loaded onto trucks for delivery to customers. These panels find applications in cabinets, furniture, fixtures, laminates, and more. The Bandit Model 3680 Beast Recycler is a powerful and versatile machine designed to handle a wide range of wood and plastic recycling tasks. One of its key features is the optional whole tree chipper drum, which allows it to combine the productivity of a horizontal grinder with the raw chipping power of a banded whole tree chipper. In this article, we will explore the working principles and advantages of the Bandit model 3680 Beast Recycler with the chipping drum option. Drum Installation and Retrofit The integration of the chipping drum into the Beast Recycler is a relatively straightforward process. It involves replacing the standard cutter mold with a custom chipping drum and adding a specially designed stationary anvil spacer to the infeed. There are multiple chipping drum options available, including the 5 tenths knife, 4 eighths knife, and 20 knife drums. These drums can be configured to run with all knives or with half of the knife pockets blocked off to achieve specific chip sizes. The downward cutter mill advantage, one of the standout features of the Bandit Model 3680 Beast Recycler, is its patented downturning cutter mill. Unlike most horizontal grinders that turn upward, this design allows the beast to cut against a one-piece infeed chain, which acts as a moving anvil. When equipped with a chipping drum, the beast cuts against a replaceable stationary anvil insert located at the infeed's end. This setup ensures a higher quality chip by preventing material from turning or rolling, resulting in a superior end product.
Superior infeed chain. Bandit's one-piece infeed chain is another crucial element in ensuring high chip quality. This heavy-duty construction continually advances material into the feed wheel yoke and the chipping drum, providing more effective and reliable operation compared to chains used in other grinders. This mechanism contributes to delivering a superior end product. Six-speed feed system. The Beast Recycler is equipped with a six-speed feed system that allows operators to match the conveyor speed to the desired material size. This feature prevents material from pushing against the chipping drum, which can lead to reduced horsepower and fuel economy. It also ensures that material reaches the drum at the right speed, minimizing the creation of splinters and fines. Operators can fine-tune the system to produce the correct size material on the first pass. Massive infeed width. The Model 3680 Beast Recycler boasts a 60-inch wide infeed, providing ample space for spreading out material evenly along the infeed chain. This feature enables the machine to handle large and wide trees, including logs, chunk wood, stumps, and re-grind mulch, with ease, versatility beyond wood. While the Beast Recycler is known for its wood processing capabilities, it also excels at handling plastic materials, such as heavy-walled plastic pipe. With the 20 knife option, the machine can produce uniform and perfectly sized plastic chips that meet the requirements of plastic recyclers. Swap between drum and cutter mill. One of the significant advantages of the Beast Recycler with a chipping drum is its flexibility. Operators can easily swap the chipping drum for the traditional cutter mill and vice versa. This means you can choose the appropriate hardware for processing a wide range of materials from chunk wood to branches and logging slash. Adapting to changing markets, the Beast Recycler can adapt to evolving market demands thanks to its ability to switch between processing modes. This versatility ensures that it remains a valuable asset for businesses in the recycling industry, regardless of market fluctuations. Expert support with Bandit Backbone. Bandit stands by its products, offering free expert support through its Bandit Backbone program. This ensures that customers have access to assistance and guidance whenever needed, enhancing the overall ownership experience of the Beast Recycler. Eagle Valley Wood Pellets is a leading producer of premium quality wood pellet products dedicated to turning raw wood waste materials into an environmentally friendly and efficient energy source. Their manufacturing process begins with the collection of wet biomass materials from various sources, including sawdust and wood shavings, which often contain around 40% moisture. These raw materials are delivered to Eagle Valley's production facilities in Princeton and West Bank, British Columbia. To prepare the raw wood waste for pellet production, it goes through a hammer mill, which reduces it to a finer wood fiber. This step facilitates drying and further processing. The moisture content is then reduced to around 6 to 9 percent in a drying process. Notably, Eagle Valley utilizes a biomass burner that is powered by production fines, reinforcing their commitment to sustainability. The prepared wood fiber material is then fed into a pellet mill. A massive steel die extrusion wheel with thousands of holes and rollers that force the fibers into these holes under tremendous pressure. This process forms the wood pellets, which are later cooled and double screened to remove any fines and dust, ensuring uniformity in pellet quality. With the final production processes completed, the wood pellets are ready for bulk shipping or packaging. The finished pellets are either loaded into containers or transported to regional,
continental or international destinations, Eagle Valley's proximity to the port of Vancouver gives them a logistical advantage in serving global markets. Wood pellets produced by Eagle Valley offer an eco-friendly solution for residential and commercial heating, as well as industrial energy needs. This is the PM200 pellet mill, meticulously crafted in Germany to meet the demands of efficient pellet production. This cutting-edge machine features a capacious mixing container designed to accommodate a wide range of pelletizable materials, including wood chips. The PM200 boasts a versatile dosing screw, allowing for precise adjustment of material flow rates. To enhance its capabilities, this pellet mill incorporates a high-performance water pump, seamlessly integrated, capable of adding 0 to 5 liters of water per hour to the mixing process. Operational efficiency is key, as raw material is introduced via the hopper and transformed into pellets through a controlled process of pressure and temperature elevation. Notably, the quality of the resulting pellets is profoundly influenced by the moisture content, typically around 15%. It's paramount to ensure the material is free from contaminants such as stones or metal underlining the need for preliminary processing with a hammer mill for optimal results. The PM200 pellet mill represents a pinnacle of German engineering, offering precision, adaptability, and reliability for a variety of pellet production needs. The grass pellet mill offers a convenient gateway for individuals to embark on the journey of grass pellet production right in the comfort of their homes. In recent years, pelleted fuels have surged in popularity owing to their clean, low emission, highly efficient, and easily transportable and storable nature, with wood pellets fueling this trend. These versatile pelleted fuels find application in a wide array of settings, from stoves, household furnaces, and outdoor hydronic water heaters to large-scale power plants. Grass pellets, in particular, share the same energy content as wood pellets, but do tend to produce more ash when burned in home stoves, potentially leading to ash residue issues. Fortunately, research suggests that blending 20% wood pellets with grass pellets can effectively resolve this concern. Producing fuel pellets from grass comes at a lower cost compared to wood pellet production, making it an economically attractive choice. Moreover, the global acceptance of grass-based biofuel pellet production makes it a well-established and sustainable technology. Utilizing grass pellets as a source of fuel material emerges as an energy-efficient, eco-friendly, and economically viable solution, aligning perfectly with sustainability goals. The Model P pellet stove is a remarkable heating solution that operates without the need for electricity. These stoves rely solely on gravity to feed wood pellets into the combustion chamber, making them incredibly efficient and environmentally friendly. The pellets used in this stove can be made from various biomass materials such as paper, cardboard, wood, or grass, which are mechanically compressed into fuel pellets through a process called compaction. One significant advantage of this fuel source is its sustainability and eco-friendliness. These pellets have a high energy content, ranging from 4 to 5,000 kilocalories, and they offer precise control over the heating process. The Model P can burn 20 kilograms of pellets per hour, making it both cost-effective and easy to handle. The stove features a steel structure with a temperature control system and a hopper for pellet storage. Reflectors are designed to maximize heat distribution, ensuring efficient warmth throughout the room. With just a single daily load into the hopper, 
the Model P can provide heating for 20 to 36 hours, making it a convenient and reliable choice for environmentally conscious homeowners. The Puro WIN wood chip boiler represents a groundbreaking innovation in the world of biomass heating systems. Developed by Windhager, this cutting-edge appliance incorporates their patented updraft gasification combustion chamber, making it the cleanest wood chip boiler in the world. The key principle behind the PuroWin's exceptional performance is harnessing the natural filtering effect of wood chips. Windhager's intensive research and development efforts have redefined the wood chip boiler industry, setting revolutionary standards. One of the most remarkable features of the Puro WIN is its ability to achieve incredibly low dust emissions that are nearly undetectable. This is achieved through a meticulously designed combustion process. The entire combustion chamber of the Puro WIN is constructed from high-quality stainless steel, ensuring both robustness and safety. The boiler employs a smart fuel detection system to continuously transport the correct amount of wood chips into the combustion chamber via the Stoker auger. This ensures an efficient and controlled burning process. The combustion process in the boiler begins with filling the complete chamber with wood chips, a supply of primary air and a single ignition process create an ember bed in the bottom section of the chamber. This ember bed carbonizes the wood chips above it, essentially forming an active carbon filter. Fine dust particles are filtered and retained within this charcoal layer. The combustible wood gases rise from the ember bed through the layer of carbon and unburnt wood chips. Once outside this layer, these gases are enriched with additional air and ignited by an energy-saving glow igniter. This innovative design ensures that combustion always occurs above the layer of wood chips. One of the standout features of the boiler is its wood chip gasification system, which produces emissions so low they are nearly immeasurable. The boiler's sealed design allows the ember bed to remain active for up to four days without the need for additional fuel or combustion air. This not only conserves energy, but also significantly reduces the need for ignition, cutting ignition energy costs by up to 90% compared to competitor wood chip boilers. The Puro WIN also incorporates a unique ash removal system. Patented twin ash removal plates allow for ash removal without shutting down the boiler. This is a major advantage as it ensures continuous operation. The ember bed slide and ash removal plates work together to prevent foreign bodies from interfering with the combustion process. In the production of wooden shingles, the journey from a tall, robust spruce tree to finely crafted shingles begins with a meticulous process. This process begins peeling the bark and then carefully sawing the long log into shorter, more manageable pieces. These pieces are the raw materials from which we fashion the shingles that will grace roofs and walls, enhancing the character and durability of structures. Peeling the bark manually is a labor-intensive task that demands patience and precision. It is a crucial step in preparing the wood for shingle production. The removal of the bark not only reveals the pristine wood beneath, but also ensures that the shingles will have a smooth and uniform surface. Following the bark removal, the long log is then carefully sawn into shorter pieces. 
This step requires the skill of an experienced craftsman who knows just how to make the precise cuts to create the optimal dimensions for the shingles. Each cut is a deliberate move towards transforming the raw wood into a functional and aesthetically pleasing building material. One crucial consideration is the timing of the wood's harvest. The spruce wood used for shingle production should ideally be felled in December, specifically during the last quarter of the waning moon. This timing is believed to yield the highest quality wood for shingles. It is a testament to the intricate balance between tradition and nature's rhythms that defines the art of wooden shingle production. The log is typically placed horizontally on a sturdy support structure, such as a splitting block or log holder. This positioning ensures stability during the splitting process. A reference line is carefully marked along the length of the log. This line acts as a guide, ensuring that the log will split into uniform sections. The woodworker employs wedges to initiate the splitting process. These wedges can be wooden or metal and are driven into the log along the marked line. Precision is essential to ensure a clean and even split. The woodworker exerts force on the wedges, causing them to penetrate the log's fibers. As the pressure increases, the log begins to split along the predetermined path. Successful hand splitting requires a delicate balance between force and precision. The woodworker must navigate this fine line to achieve an even and accurate split. Depending on the desired dimensions of the shingles and the log size, the splitting process may be repeated several times. Each split results in large sections that will later be further refined into shingle blanks. To prevent warping and splitting as wood dries, it's essential to cut both shakes and shingles from the edge grain. Careful consideration of the wood grain orientation is crucial when splitting blocks and crafting shakes or shingles. Similarly, during bucking, precision is vital to ensure cuts align precisely perpendicular to the grain, minimizing waste and upholding product quality. For effective bucking, thorough clearing of the log is necessary to achieve a clear view of the grain facilitating straight cuts perpendicular to the grain. In the splitting process, the ringers are typically separated from the bark to the heartwood, following a perpendicular path to the grain. The removal of heartwood involves splitting parallel to the grain, while simultaneously eliminating bark, sapwood, and any imperfections like rot or bug holes, the initial split always targets a knot, burl, check, or other imperfection to maximize block size while disposing of waste. 
Blocks should never be split in areas of clear wood, as this can result in imperfections within the block or necessitate excessively small splits when flaws are removed. When dealing with large logs or highly twisted pieces, there is often a need to cant or divide the entire log into slabs. This process involves the removal of a ringer at each end of the tree to expose the log's interior. Wedges are then inserted into the face to initiate the split, typically targeting a natural check or imperfection that extends the log's full length. As the face begins to separate, wedges are progressively driven into the resulting gap, starting from near the face and gradually advancing toward the log's opposite end in incremental steps. When dealing with large logs or highly twisted pieces, there is often a need to cant or divide the entire log into slabs. This process involves the removal of a ringer at each end of the tree to expose the log's interior. Wedges are then inserted into the face to initiate the split, typically targeting a natural check or imperfection that extends the log's full length. As the face begins to separate, Wedges are progressively driven into the resulting gap, starting from near the face and gradually advancing toward the log's opposite end in incremental steps. Central to the success of the hand-splitting process is the experience and expertise of the woodworker. These skilled craftsmen possess an intimate understanding of wood's unique characteristics, including its grain patterns and natural tendencies during splitting. This knowledge empowers them to make informed decisions and adjustments throughout the process, ensuring the best possible outcomes. Shake blocks undergo a process where they are split into 1-inch thick, 25mm slats, known as blanks. This division is achieved using one of two methods, a hydraulic press, equipped with a blade, referred to as a cuber, or manual splitting employing a fro and mallet. When the blanks are derived from the same edge of the block without flipping it, they maintain a consistent thickness throughout. Alternatively, the splitter may opt to flip the block after each blank is removed from its edge, resulting in a tapered split extending from one end to the other, commonly referred to as tapers or hand split. Blanks that lack this natural taper require additional processing before they can be used. They are fed through a large band saw, manually guided to cut them diagonally from corner to corner, thus forming a tapered shake with one sawn face. For the production of shingles, circular saws with typically 42 to 48 inches 1 .1 to 1 .2 meters in diameter are employed to cut them from the blocks. The blocks are securely held in a carriage that moves back and forth along the blade, tilting and advancing the block closer to the blade with each pass. This automated process ensures the formation of a tapered cut with the correct thickness. Subsequently, the shingle edges undergo further refinement through the use of another circular saw, referred to as a trim saw, which is responsible for eliminating irregular edges. 
The outcome is a tapered shingle meticulously cut on all six sides. The thickness of the butt, or the thicker end of the tapered cut, typically measures 3 8 inch, 9.5 millimeters, but is also frequently produced at a thickness of 5 8 inch, 16 millimeters, and can be customized to meet specific requirements. The next crucial step in the shingle making process involves the careful drying of the freshly split shingles. This critical phase typically spans a period of approximately two weeks, although the exact duration is influenced by the prevailing weather conditions. Naturally, warmer weather expedites the drying process, allowing for a faster turnaround. During this period of air drying, the shingles are exposed to the elements benefiting from the gentle caress of the sun and the natural flow of air. This process helps to remove residual moisture, ensuring that the shingles attain the ideal moisture content for their intended use. Adequate drying is essential to prevent issues like warping or mold growth later on. Once the shingles have reached the desired level of dryness, they are meticulously bundled into groups of 25 each. This bundling not only aids in convenient handling, but also provides an organized approach to inventory management. The bundled shingles are then thoughtfully arranged on pallets, optimizing storage space and facilitating efficient transportation. This careful attention to the drying and bundling of shingles underscores the commitment to producing high-quality roofing materials. It ensures that the shingles are well prepared for their eventual installation on roofs, where they will provide both protection and aesthetic appeal for years to come. In the past, traditional wooden shingles were typically slender, measuring between 3 8 to 3 quarters of an inch, 10 to 19 millimeters in thickness, relatively narrow, ranging from 3 to 8 inches, 76 to 203 millimeters in width, and exhibited varying lengths of 14 to 36 inches, 360 to 910 millimeters. These shingles were almost invariably planed or carefully smoothed. The age-old method of crafting wooden shingles prior to the 19th century involved riving or hand-splitting them from sections of logs with straight grain and no knots, which had been pre-cut to the desired length, known as bolts. These bolts were then quartered or split into wedges, and thin pieces of wood were skillfully split or riven using a mallet and a fro or an axe. The choice of wood species depended on the local availability of timber, but typically only the more durable heartwood from the inner section of the log was utilized, while the softer sapwood was usually avoided due to its tendency to deteriorate quickly. Since hand-split shingles exhibited some irregularities along the split surface, it was necessary to dress or plane them using tools like a draw knife or draw shave to ensure an even fit on the roof. This dressing process was essential to create a tight-fitting roof, 
especially when laid over open shingle lath or sheathing boards. Dressing or smoothing of shingles was a near universal practice, regardless of the type of wood used or the geographical location of the building, except in cases where a temporary or highly functional roof was acceptable. The fabrication of shingles underwent a significant transformation in the early 19th century with the advent of steam-powered sawmills. Shingle mills revolutionized the production of shingles by enabling the mass production of uniform shingles. These sawn shingles featured a consistent taper and smooth surface, eliminating the need for hand dressing. Consequently, the supply of wooden shingles was no longer constrained by local factors. These changes in shingle production coincided with and contributed to the popularity of architectural styles such as Carpenter Gothic, Queen Anne, and shingle-style architecture, all of which effectively utilized shingles. Despite the introduction of machine sawn shingles, hand split shingles continued to see use in many regions. In some areas, alternative roofing materials gained popularity, particularly in locations where slate was abundant, resulting in fewer wooden shingle roofs. Certain western boom towns favored sheet metal due to its lightweight and ease of shipping. Ornate buildings in cities with strict fire regulations often adopted materials like slate, turnplate, and clay tile to reduce fire risk. However, wooden shingles were never completely abandoned, and even in the 20th century, architectural styles such as Colonial Revival and Tudor Revival embraced their enduring appeal. Land and right-of-way clearing operations are often faced with the challenge of finding equipment that is both powerful and dependable. In this context, the Bandit Model 5000 stands out as a beacon of reliability and efficiency. As the largest stump grinder and forestry mower produced by Bandit Industries, the Model 5000 is specifically designed to withstand the rugged conditions that land clearing contractors frequently encounter. Its robust design and advanced features make it a formidable tool, surpassing all others in its class. One of the standout features of the Model 5000, especially the 5000 T-Track Carrier variant, is its adaptability. Like other Bandit track carriers, the Model 5000T can be equipped with either a forestry mulcher attachment or a stump grinding head. This flexibility ensures that contractors can switch between tasks with ease, adapting to the demands of the job site. The process of switching between these attachments is straightforward taking mere minutes in the field, ensuring minimal downtime.
The stump grinding attachment of the Model 5000T boasts a 40-inch diameter cutter wheel, which uses buck-style teeth. This design ensures aggressive grinding action, making short work of even the most stubborn stumps. On the other hand, the mulcher attachment is a testament to Bandit's commitment to quality and innovation. With carbide cutting teeth and a design reminiscent of Bandit chipper drums and beast cutter mills, this attachment can easily cut through large trees and brush. Moreover, it is exceptionally tolerant to dirt and rocks, allowing operators to mow material and then mulch it directly into the soil. The Model 5000T doesn't just excel in performance, it also prioritizes the comfort and safety of its operators. The deluxe operator cabs are a blend of luxury, technology, and functionality. Operators are treated to a six-way captain's chair, complete with intuitive drive-by-wire joystick controls. Touchscreen monitors offer real-time insights into machine functions and operations, ensuring that operators are always in control. Visibility is paramount in land clearing operations, and the Model 5000T delivers on this front with rear view cameras and reinforced windscreens. To further enhance the operator experience, the cab is fully climate controlled. Equipped with both heating and air conditioning systems, the inclusion of built in AM FM radios ensures that operators remain entertained, making long workdays more enjoyable. Safety is a cornerstone of Bandit's design philosophy, and the Model 5000T is no exception. The equipment comes standard with features like rollover bar protection systems, roof escape hatches, fire suppression systems, reverse alarms, and automatic engine shutdown systems. These features underscore Bandit's commitment to ensuring the well-being of operators. Maintenance is a breeze with the Model 5000T. The operator cabs can tilt forward, providing unhindered access to the machine's major components. This design consideration ensures that downtime is minimized, leading to reduced operating costs.
Dinkmax CNC Woodturning and Machining Center is a multifunctional machine designed specifically for woodworking industries. It features three axes and three units, including a rough mill, turn, and electrospindle, making it a versatile and efficient solution for a variety of wood turning and machining applications. The rough mill allows for rough shaping and cutting, while the turn unit provides precise and detailed turning capabilities. The electrospindle is equipped with a high-speed motor that provides powerful and precise milling capabilities, making it ideal for finishing operations. This CNC machine is designed with advanced technologies, such as high-precision linear guide high-torque motors, which ensure smooth and accurate movements and results. The user-friendly control panel allows for easy programming and operation, making it accessible for operators of all skill levels. Additionally, the machine is built with a sturdy and durable construction, ensuring reliable performance and longevity. The CNC Woodturning and Machining Center by Dinkmac is a versatile and reliable machine suitable for small to medium-sized woodworking operations. It provides fast and precise results, making it ideal for producing high-quality wood products such as furniture components, decorative objects, and more. The combination of its advanced technologies and user-friendly design make it an ideal solution for woodworking industries looking to increase their production capabilities and improve their product quality. A plant for cable drum production is a processing line, which consists of several modules. The wooden timber are cut with the required length and treated to smooth the surface. The center hole is drilled. This hole is used to mount the diameter measuring tool. Boards of the same thickness will be set side by side to a surface area so that the entire width is greater than the needed diameter. Afterwards, a second layer of boards is to be laid on the first one the same way, but pivoted in 90 degrees. These will be nailed together, external and internal circle.
The readily nailed panels are put through a machine to be sawed out with required diameter. The trough, groove, will be milled as well as all necessary holes will be drilled inside for the core strip. Drill holes for the core. The joint between the core and the side part will be produced with drawbar. The drawbars pull the side parts together so that the boards will be pushed inside the trough. A one-way cable drum consists of two side parts, aka flange, and the core, which consists of boards, core bars. A centrally drilled hole, the slaving and cable throughput drilling is in the side part. The through and groove respectively is on the inside for the core bar. Tree felling, especially when it involves the massive trunk of a cypress tree, is a task that demands skill, precision, and respect for nature. Cypress trees, known for their majestic stature and longevity, can grow to remarkable sizes, making their felling a significant undertaking. First, skilled arborists assess the tree's health and the direction in which it should fall. They consider factors like wind, lean, and the surrounding space to determine the safest path. Once the plan is in place, the process of cutting begins. Specialized equipment, such as chainsaws and ropes, are used to make precise cuts on the trunk. These cuts are strategically placed to guide the tree's descent. Dropping a big cypress tree trunk requires expertise in directional felling to ensure it falls in the intended location without causing damage. Gravity and the tree's natural lean are harnessed to aid the process. The entire operation demands great precision, 
as mishandling could lead to accidents or environmental harm. Tree harvesting machinery, such as feller bunchers, skidders, and harvesters, are designed to streamline the process of cutting down trees. Feller bunchers are equipped with powerful cutting heads that can efficiently fell and accumulate trees. Harvesters are more advanced machines that can cut, delim, and sometimes even process trees into logs on the spot. These machines greatly increase the speed and accuracy of tree removal, reducing labor costs and minimizing damage to the surrounding environment. Furthermore, Modern harvesting equipment is designed with sustainability in mind, often leaving behind smaller trees to ensure forest regeneration. The role of tree harvesting machinery and logging trucks extends beyond efficiency and safety, they also contribute to the overall sustainability of the timber industry. Sustainable forestry practices are increasingly important, these machines are designed to minimize their impact on the environment. For instance, reduced impact logging techniques help preserve quality and reduce the risk of erosion. Once the trees are harvested, the next crucial step is transportation. Logging trucks play a pivotal role in moving the felled trees from the forest to processing facilities or distribution centers. These trucks are purpose-built to transport heavy and oversized timber loads safely. They typically come in various configurations, including flatbeds, trailers, and self-loaders, depending on the specific needs of the operation. Efficiency is a key factor in the success of the timber industry, and logging trucks are designed to optimize this efficiency. They can carry large quantities of timber, reducing the number of trips required to transport the harvested wood, which minimizes fuel consumption and emissions. Furthermore, they are equipped with advanced suspension systems and braking technology to ensure safety on often challenging forest roads. The Center 1000 Hydraulic, in its basic version, has a 22 kW engine and a substantial 7.6 meter cutting length. Its band saw arm is fitted with massive planetary wheels, each with a diameter of 720 mm. This impressive machinery can accommodate a band saw with a width of up to 65 mm, and it can handle cutting bands with stellated teeth. The cutting band dimensions it can work with typically range from 50 to 65 mm in width. 0.9 to 11 millimeters in thickness and are stretched to a length of 5960 millimeters the machine's robust design characterized by its considerable size and weight is engineered to accommodate highly efficient hydraulic equipment this equipment enables the seamless maneuvering of even the largest and thickest logs. The double-sided guidance of the bridge, coupled with the high power engine, grants the machine the ability to remove heavy logs quickly and smoothly, all facilitated by the cut material feeder. In fact, this machine comes standard with a rapid bridge feed feature that automatically releases in the end positions. In its basic configuration, the Center 1000 Hydraulic incorporates various hydraulic components and devices to facilitate the log cutting process. These include saw band guidance through sintered carbides, a single extendable log turner, two log clamps for secure log positioning, four angle and height adjustable resistance mechanisms for precise control, one log end planer, and an end planer for logs with horizontal feed. 
These components work in tandem to ensure efficient log processing. The machine's flexibility is further enhanced by a range of retrofitting options, each designed to cater to specific needs and improve operational efficiency. Section Extending Cutting Length, LG100. This addition allows the machine to extend its cutting length by an additional 3 meters, providing greater versatility when working with longer logs. LG Automatic. This automatic system is used to precisely and rapidly set the required cutting thickness. By inputting the desired value on the digital display, the band saw arm automatically moves to the chosen location, minimizing the potential for human errors during manual setup and significantly enhancing cutting accuracy. Cleaning saw, barbering machine, an innovative milling unit attached to the movable arm cleans the area where the cutting band enters the log. This cleaning process removes sand, bark, and other impurities, effectively preventing the premature dulling of the cutting band. This, in turn, reduces the frequency of band saw replacements, extends their service life, and enhances the overall efficiency of the machine. Hydraulic Band Saw Tension This component allows for precise tensioning of the band saw blade through the use of a hand hydraulic pump. The degree of tension is indicated by a pressure gauge, which is placed conveniently nearby. Additionally, a pressure valve helps safeguard against excessive belt tension. Ammeter. The ammeter provides real-time readings of the load level on the saw engine during operation. This information is invaluable for making informed decisions regarding the cutting feed speed and for monitoring the condition of the cutting band. Timely replacement of the cutting band not only extends its service life but also contributes to improved cutting quality. Electrically controlled strip. This feature facilitates the smooth and precise adjustment of the blade's roller tensioning position, which directly affects the length of the working section of the cutting band. The adjustment buttons on the control panel allow for seamless selection of the position of the cutting band tension roller. Band saw cooling adjustment. The cooling system includes an electromagnetic flow valve that automatically opens when the band saw is turned on and closes when it is turned off. This effectively limits the consumption of the cooling and lubricating medium, optimizing its use. Double-sided pressure cooling of the cutting band. The cooling system is equipped with a pressure pump positioned within a tank containing the cooling medium. It also incorporates an electromagnetic flow valve and two nozzles. These components work in tandem to evenly spray cooling agent on both the upper and lower surfaces of the cutting band. This double-sided cooling process helps prevent unwanted stresses in the cutting band and the accumulation of resin coatings, ultimately leading to smoother belt operation longer tool life, and increased cutting accuracy. Katahdin Cedar Log Homes, a family-owned business since 1973, is a vertically integrated manufacturer of high-quality log homes. The production activities at this factory encompass the entire process of turning trees into finished log homes. The production process begins with the careful selection of timber. Katahdin controls the entire quality chain by buying trees, sawing the lumber, drying it, and processing it into log homes. This integrated approach ensures the highest quality at every stage, from forest to finished product.
Logs pass through sawmills where they are cut to length and receive special cuts to fit precisely in each home. The production team uses a build-by-number system, making assembly efficient and accurate. Each log is labeled and tracked, reducing construction time and ensuring seamless assembly. The mill also manufactures pre-cut window and door frames, enhancing the tightness and insulation of the homes. They offer various insulation options to meet customer specific requirements. Katahdin offers two primary exterior finishes, the hand peel look and the smooth millwood look, each with its unique appearance and staining characteristics. Attention to detail is paramount in the mill's production process. They implement innovative solutions, like using boat building techniques to ensure water runs outside the log home, protecting it from moisture. The process begins with a computerized system that allows operators to select specific log profiles and dimensions. Pre-cut to length. Once the log specifications are input, the logs are cut to the exact desired length with precision equipment. This step sets the foundation for the log's role in the final home construction. Label and barcode. Each log is labeled and barcoded to ensure proper tracking and organization throughout the manufacturing and assembly process. Pre-cut corners and splice ends. The logs are pre-cut with precision for various purposes. Female and male corners are crafted to fit snugly into one another, providing structural integrity. Splice ends are also prepared for assembling logs seamlessly, ensuring the log home stability. Pre-drill for log screws. To facilitate secure log attachment and stability, pre-drilling is done for log screws. This ensures that the logs can be securely fastened together during construction. Hand peel. If needed. Depending on the desired finish, some logs may go through a hand peeling process. This gives the logs a rougher, more textured appearance, adding character and rustic charm to the log home. Inventory finished logs. Completed logs are then organized and inventory to ensure a streamlined manufacturing process. This step minimizes potential delays and ensures that the logs are readily available for assembly. Sequentially pack logs for delivery. Window manufacturing is a meticulous and complex process, and for those unfamiliar with the industry, understanding the intricacies involved can be enlightening. The primary material of choice in this realm is wood, which serves as the fundamental building block for creating high-quality windows. Yet, the availability of suitable wood is not always a given, adding an additional layer of complexity to the manufacturing process. Despite these challenges, manufacturers in this field are well prepared to meet the demands of the market, even accommodating larger orders through a stockpile of carefully selected wood. With a history spanning half a century in crafting windows and doors, IR Group in Austria has honed their expertise over the years. Their employees are well trained, and they employ cutting edge technology to create windows that are both functional and ecologically valuable. These windows are not merely products but are the result of years of experience and a commitment to delivering the best. The production process begins with meticulous planning in the office, where every detail is carefully considered. From there, 
the process seamlessly integrates with production, ensuring a smooth transition. Utilizing advanced CNC technology, they achieve the highest precision and efficiency, guaranteeing that each product is crafted to perfection. One of the remarkable aspects of their production is the sheer diversity they offer. They manufacture an impressive range of 38 different types of windows, enabling them to cater to a wide array of customer needs. Each window and door is treated as a unique piece, with skilled hands ensuring that individual expertise and attention to detail go into every product. To maintain the high standard of quality, all windows and doors produced undergo thorough documentation. Plans and data for each piece are meticulously archived, readily available for reference. This ensures that the windows not only meet the highest quality standards but are also designed to last. Finishing touches are another critical aspect of their process. Each frame passes through an automated, in-house paint shop, featuring four stations for fungicide primer and two coats of paint. A specialized robot takes care of the final painting, ensuring an impeccable finish for the highest surface quality. What is truly striking is that, for these manufacturers, the scale of production does not limit their commitment to quality. Whether they are working on large series or custom-made products, they uphold the same rigorous standards. Their dedication to diversity in design is evident as they offer a wide range of modern window and door types, including passive house windows and flush designs. The construction of the new production hall from Holtzbau in Lauterach showcases innovative building materials and techniques. The key feature of this remarkable structure is the use of expansion beach, a type of laminated veneer lumber. This material represents a cutting-edge development in construction, produced using the most modern manufacturing processes available. Traditionally, softwood has been the primary choice for timber construction, but thanks to this technical innovation, load-bearing structures can now be efficiently made from beech wood. This innovation allows for slimmer dimensions while maintaining high strength, making it an excellent choice for the construction of the production hall. The roof panels of the production hall are also crafted from beech wood. Using a template, individual components are meticulously arranged, streamlining the assembly process and saving valuable time. The result is a variety of roof panels manufactured within a very short time frame. The efficient pre-assembly of wooden beams and panels simplifies the on-site construction process. In just two days, the hall can be fully erected, a testament to the speed and convenience of this new construction method. In addition to its quick construction time, the production hall stands out for its visual appeal and sustainability. The use of beech wood not only provides an attractive aesthetic but also reflects a commitment to eco-friendly and economically viable construction practices. Log cabins have a timeless charm that appeals to those seeking a rustic retreat or a cozy, off-the-grid home. In this section, 
we'll explore the process of building a two-story log cabin, the Laura Chalet, offered by Logspan. The Laura Chalet is designed to meet a variety of needs, from residential living to holiday getaways. Whether you're looking for a sustainable and natural dwelling or just a peaceful escape, this log cabin provides an excellent option. Let's delve into the details of this DIY log cabin project. Log Cabin Basics Before we delve into the construction of the Laura Chalet, it's essential to understand the basic concepts of log cabin building. Log cabins are not just traditional homes, they are an embodiment of natural living and sustainability. The logs used in log cabin construction are a living material, meaning they expand during the winter and contract during the summer. This dynamic nature of wood is why Logspan offers two different wall construction options single wall and double wall with insulation. Independent walls. Logspan's double wall construction is a unique feature. It involves two separate walls, one inner and one outer. These walls are independent of each other, allowing them to move at different rates as the wood expands and contracts. This minimizes the risk of structural damage and ensures the longevity of your log cabin. Versatility in usage. The Laura Chalet is not just a house, it can be a holiday retreat, a permanent residence, or even a weekend getaway. The versatility in usage is one of the defining features of log cabins. You can enjoy quality time with your family, celebrate the holidays in a cozy chalet, or use it as an escape from the hustle and bustle of city life during the summer months. Design your dream home. The allure of a log cabin lies in its adaptability to your needs and preferences. You can design and build your log cabin in a location of your choice. It's a cost-effective alternative to buying a pre-built house, giving you the opportunity to create the perfect home tailored to your desires. In essence, it's a DIY project from start to finish, allowing you to take control of your living space. Off-the-grid living. For those seeking a sustainable and off-the-grid lifestyle, a log cabin provides an ideal foundation. The Laura Chalet from Logspan can be customized to support off-the-grid living. This entails using solar panels and a wind turbine to generate electricity, a wood-burning stove for heating and cooking, and sourcing water from a nearby stream or well. Living in a Logspan timber chalet allows you to reconnect with nature and lead a self-sufficient life.
Getting back to nature. One of the primary attractions of log cabins is their ability to blend seamlessly with the natural environment. Building your log cabin in a location that resonates with you can provide a deep connection with the natural world. The rustic design and wooden construction of the Laura Chalet enhance this connection, creating a harmonious and serene living space. Hidden Wires and Sustainable Living In an age where modern technology is often a dominant presence in our lives, the idea of hidden wires and sustainable living holds a certain allure. By embracing renewable energy sources like solar panels and wind turbines, you can reduce your carbon footprint and minimize your dependence on traditional power sources. A wood-burning stove not only provides warmth but also a timeless and comforting ambiance. This commitment to sustainability and self-sufficiency is a central aspect of log cabin living. Here is an overview of the key steps involved in the production of an ELK house. The journey begins with the selection of eco-friendly and sustainable materials. They prioritizes the use of wood sourced from regional forests that are responsibly managed. The architectural and structural designs are carefully crafted to optimize energy efficiency, functionality, and aesthetics. One of the standout features of these houses is the extensive use of prefabrication. The majority of components, including wall panels, floor systems, and roof trusses, are precision engineered and manufactured in a controlled factory environment. This results in higher quality construction and a significant reduction in construction time on site. The houses primarily use timber as the main building material. The timber frame construction process involves assembling the prefabricated components on site. This process is efficient, as it minimizes waste, reduces labor requirements, and results in a sturdy, long-lasting structure. The homes are renowned for their energy-efficient features. During production, elements such as insulation, advanced window systems, and energy-efficient heating and cooling systems are integrated into the house, ensuring a comfortable and sustainable living environment. The mill places a strong emphasis on quality control throughout the production process. Rigorous inspections are conducted to ensure that every component meets the highest standards and any deviations from the design are addressed promptly. Thanks to the prefabrication process and efficient assembly methods, an ELK house can be erected in a remarkably short period. This minimizes disruption to the homeowner and allows for a faster move in timeline. The construction of residential buildings using cross-laminated timber, X-LAM, is gaining widespread popularity due to the numerous benefits it offers. One of the key players in this innovative construction technique is the DERIX Group. They have showcased their expertise and the advantages of building with X-LAM through a production and assembly video. X-LAM construction goes beyond sophisticated and complex roof structures and extends to the entire building's framework. This approach is appealing to a growing number of builders and architects, from multi-story buildings to single-family homes. The reasons behind this surge in interest are multifaceted. Quality control. The process begins with the careful selection of raw wood slats. Wood moisture measurements are conducted to ensure the material suitability. 
An optical inspection is employed to identify and eliminate any inferior components, guaranteeing the highest quality starting materials. Precise production. The selected slats are then processed into endless slats and individual components. This process involves gluing the slats in layers, rotating each layer by 90 degrees. What sets DERIX group apart is their unique method of applying pressure from all six sides. This ensures that the layers adhere perfectly and maintain structural integrity. Surface cosmetics and defect correction are also part of the process, resulting in an optimal appearance. Cutting edge technology. Precision is at the core of XLAM construction. State-of-the-art CNC processing systems are employed to ensure that every component is machine-made with meticulous accuracy. Transport and Loading DERIX Group places a strong emphasis on safe and cost-efficient special transport. Preparing and loading these components is part of their commitment to quality and efficiency. This attention to detail reduces the risk of damage during transportation. Construction efficiency. XLAM construction offers a shorter construction time compared to traditional building methods. This is particularly advantageous for projects that need to be completed quickly. The precise prefabrication of components ensures that assembly on site is swift and precise. Planning security. Architects and builders can rely on XLAM construction for planning security. The consistency and precision of the components, combined with the efficiency of the construction process, contribute to meeting deadlines and budgets. In this section, we will delve into the various stages of manufacturing, detailing the processes involved in constructing a manufactured home from the ground up. Floor construction. The journey of crafting a manufactured home commences with the construction of the floor. The floor serves as the very foundation upon which the entire home is built, and it must be robust and resilient to withstand the test of time. Jacobson Homes employs a multi-step approach to ensure the structural soundness and energy efficiency of the flooring system. The process starts with the installation of a moisture-resistant polyvinyl bottom board. This board not only provides a stable base but also guards against moisture infiltration, a critical factor in ensuring the longevity of the home. Following this, a layer of fiberglass insulation is added. The insulation is not just for comfort but is a key component of energy efficiency. By providing thermal insulation, it helps maintain a consistent temperature within the home reducing the need for excess heating or cooling. This, in turn, translates into lower utility costs for homeowners. But it's not just about comfort and energy efficiency, it's also about safety and functionality. This stage of construction incorporates the installation of PEX water supply lines and 12 to 14 gauge electrical wires into the subflooring. These crucial elements are laid out strategically to enable proper connections for plumbing and electrical systems. Rigorous quality control checks are carried out to ensure that the electrical installation meets the highest standards, assuring homeowners of a safe and reliable electrical system.
the exterior walls are the protective shell of the home, designed to shield its occupants from the elements and provide structural support. The exterior walls are constructed using 2x6 studs spaced at 16-inch intervals. The use of 2x6 bottom and top plates further enhances the overall strength of the walls. Just as the exterior walls are vital for protection and structural support, the interior walls play a critical role in defining the living spaces within the home. Marriage Wall The marriage wall is a unique feature in the construction process of manufactured housing. This wall is the point at which two sections of the home come together at the center, creating a single, unified structure. Jacobson Homes takes special care in constructing the marriage wall, recognizing its importance in ensuring the home's structural stability. To fortify this central point of connection, Jacobson Homes constructs a double wall. This double wall comprises two by four studs, resulting in a robust eight-inch centerline wall. This substantial structure enhances the overall stability of the home, setting it apart from competitors who may opt for a weaker six-inch centerline wall. Jacobson's approach ensures that the home remains secure and solid, even when subjected to external forces. The marriage wall not only serves a structural purpose but also contributes to the overall aesthetic of the home. It represents the intersection of two separate sections, harmoniously brought together to create a single, cohesive living space. The use of high-quality insulation is a key element in Jacobson's commitment to energy efficiency. Fiberglass insulation is packed within the walls to provide maximum thermal efficiency. Each insulation layer features a paper backing to prevent moisture accumulation within the walls. This design choice significantly reduces utility costs and results in long-term savings for homeowners. The exterior walls of a manufactured home serve as the first line of defense against external elements, including wind, rain, and debris. To bolster this defense and provide additional structural stability, Jacobson Homes wraps the entire house with 3 8 inch oriented strand board. Oriented strand board, or OSB, is a highly engineered wood product known for its strength and versatility. By enveloping the entire home in OSB, Jacobson Homes reinforces the structural integrity of the walls. The result is a robust and resilient structure that can withstand the challenges of inclement weather and external forces. The use of OSB serves multiple functions. It prevents air infiltration, which can impact both comfort and energy efficiency. It also adds an extra layer of protection against wind-blown debris and moisture penetration. In essence, it contributes to the overall durability and longevity of the home. The roof of a manufactured home is a critical element of its structural integrity. It must be designed and constructed with precision and care to ensure the safety and longevity of the home. Jacobson Homes follows a meticulous process in crafting the roof trusses, with a focus on both durability and energy efficiency. Roof trusses are the framework upon which the roof structure is built. Jacobson Homes places these trusses at 16-inch intervals, providing the necessary support for the roof. Additionally, special attention is given to trusses located within 3 feet of each end of the home. These trusses are doubled to reinforce them against uplifting winds. The attachment of the trusses to the roof structure is a critical step in ensuring stability. Each rafter is securely fastened to the half-inch gypsum ceiling boards. This attachment is achieved through the use of a two-component polyurethane expanding foam. This method not only bonds the gypsum board to the rafters but also eliminates the need for unsightly fasteners. The result is a clean and seamless ceiling, adding to the overall aesthetic of the home. The roof structure is not only about strength, it's also about energy efficiency. Before the rafters are covered with roofing materials, a layer of premium cellulose insulation is sprayed into place. This insulation contributes to the overall energy efficiency of the home, 
reducing the need for excess heating or cooling and translating into cost savings for homeowners. Once the insulation is in place, the roof trusses are covered with a 7 16 inch oriented strand board roof sheathing. This sheathing serves as the stable base for the roof materials, such as shingles. It adds another layer of structural integrity to the roof, ensuring its durability and longevity. The roof is a critical area for safeguarding against potential leaks and water damage. To this end, Jacobson Homes incorporates a 9-inch eave drip around the exterior walls of the roof. This eave drip is a protective feature that prevents water from seeping into the structure. It extends beyond typical industry standards, reflecting Jacobson's commitment to going above and beyond in every aspect of construction. For the roofing material itself, Jacobson Homes employs 25-year fungus-resistant shingles. These shingles not only provide weather protection but also contribute to the overall longevity of the roof. Each shingle is secured with six fasteners, ensuring a solid and long-lasting roof structure. Interex TMC CNC machines offer a sophisticated and versatile solution for the precision machining of curved legs and a wide range of furniture and joinery components. These CNC machining centers, with their five interpolated axes and a total of nine axes in total, provide a high degree of flexibility and automation. The TMC CNC machine is equipped with an automatic frontal hopper feed loader, ensuring seamless material handling. The blank is placed between the headstock and tailstock and securely clamped in position. The machine is outfitted with multiple heads for various machining processes, including turning, milling, and sanding. The saw blade head allows for the creation of a turn section on the component, while the milling head is perfect for flat machining and stock removal. This multifunctional machine also features a sanding head, which can provide a finely finished product. This means that components come out of the machine almost ready for use, minimizing the need for further manual work or handling. One of the standout features of the TMC CNC machine is the independent router head with a 10 position tool changer. This head adds a layer of versatility to the machining process, enabling additional operations like drilling, milling, and shaping. With this capability, the machine can produce a diverse range of components with ease. The inclusion of an optional additional table, which can have either a pneumatic or mechanical clamping system, enhances the machine's capabilities even further. This table can be used alongside between centers machining, greatly expanding the range of components that can be produced using the CNC router head. The TMC 1500 excels in producing turned or shaped furniture and joinery parts, including newel posts, stair spindles, chairs, table legs, and sofa legs with modern and contemporary designs. It not only boosts efficiency but also offers remarkable flexibility, thanks to its ability to handle turning, milling, drilling, and sanding operations in a single setup. This integration streamlines production, making it 30% more efficient and ensuring that a wide array of high-quality components can be manufactured with ease. Milling circular staircase stringers using a KUKA robot and RobotMaster software represents a cutting-edge approach to industrial robot programming. Leveraging a strong background in CAD, CAM, computer-aided manufacturing, software, this innovative combination empowers manufacturers to streamline the entire process. RobotMaster, a pivotal tool in this setup, offers unparalleled offline programming capabilities for robots. 
It simplifies the programming of precise robot motion control and swiftly generates path trajectories of any size with minimal programmer intervention. This means robots can be quickly prepared for short production runs, even single item runs, enhancing manufacturing flexibility and efficiency. Moreover, RobotMaster excels at handling complex application tasks by ensuring the closest conformance to design, generating accurate robot trajectories, and optimizing processes and tooling without the need for painstaking manual teaching points. This software not only saves time but also maximizes productivity and profitability by decoupling planning and setup from production. Its workspace simulation tools facilitate error-free consideration of workspace, part orientation, and constraints. In the heart of an interior door factory, a fascinating process unfolds, one that transforms raw materials into beautifully crafted, functional pieces of art. This intricate journey ensures that each door is not just a barrier but a statement of beauty and quality that seamlessly fits into your living space. Let's take a closer look at the manufacturing process that brings these interior doors to life. It all begins with a crucial choice, the selection of the right materials. The quality of the final product hinges on this initial step. Here, soft wood lumber and deciduous wood are meticulously chosen, with their moisture levels carefully controlled. The wood is nurtured to reach the ideal humidity levels within the walls of a sophisticated drying complex. Once the wood is prepared, the process of crafting the door frame takes center stage. Natural wood fiberboard, strong and dependable, is used to build the frame, ensuring that the door is structurally sound. But it's the veneer application that gives the door its distinctive character. Advanced machinery comes into play, allowing every detail to be cut with exceptional precision. The veneer, sourced from valuable wood species, is meticulously cut and adhered to the door components. This not only enhances the door's aesthetics but also brings out the natural beauty of the wood. Each door leaf then undergoes a rigorous preparation phase. The surface is meticulously treated with abrasive materials, creating a perfectly smooth and polished canvas for the subsequent steps in the manufacturing process. Next comes the assembly. The door frame and canvas are carefully put together, ensuring that each piece is properly sized and firmly attached. Modern format cutting machines come into play, guaranteeing precision and consistency in the assembly process. To enhance both the visual appeal and durability of the doors, they go through an edge banding process. This step not only provides a finished appearance but also serves as a protective barrier against moisture preventing any unwanted swelling or damage. With the foundation well set, several layers of final varnish are meticulously applied to the doors. This isn't just about aesthetics, it's a critical step in ensuring the door's longevity by protecting them from moisture. For some doors, stained glass windows are the pièce de résistance. Modern equipment is brought in for pre-cutting the glass, and a plotter is used to create intricate patterns. Sandblasting then adds a frosted and decorative touch to the glass, enhancing the door's elegance and character. A water-repellent coating is carefully applied to the glass after sandblasting. This coating can be tinted, allowing for customization of the door's appearance, depending on the model and the intended interior design. In some cases, artistic elements are introduced. Crafted by hand, these art glass pieces add a unique, individual touch to the doors, elevating them from mere functional objects to works of art. Throughout this entire process, strict quality control measures are in place. Every product is meticulously inspected, and detailed descriptions of warranties and maintenance recommendations are included. Finally, the finished door panels are packaged and safely stored in a warehouse, waiting for the day they find their way into your homes and commercial spaces.
This comprehensive manufacturing process blends modern technology with traditional craftsmanship, resulting in doors that are not just functional but also artistic expressions of quality and beauty. Each door becomes a canvas, a canvas that doesn't just fit into your living space but enhances it, making a statement about the aesthetics and ambiance of the spaces they adorn.